Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, AZD here with you with another video and I wanna talk about the CPI inflation report for December of 2022. Um, information came out not too long ago, got released on the website. So let's go over some few things real quick because in the month of November, remember the CPI inflation um, rate was about 7.1%. Now for this month, the month of December, it went down to 6.5%. So that's a good drop. That's what the Federal Reserve bank has been looking out for that's what the government has been looking out for that's what wall street has been looking out a sign that inflation is slowing up because remember back in june it peaked at about 9.1 percent so back in june we had the peak like inflation was high you gas prices are high everything it was up to like 9.1 percent and even though right now it's at 6.5 percent it's still growing but it's just at a slower pace right now so a lot of things that was influenced by the CPI data was food. Food inflation was crazy still. And also um, service and homes had some numbers in it. I'm gonna get some more information. We're gonna go into the computer and look at some of this information. But real quick, food inflation year over year was at 10.4%. So that means like every month, basically, food was going up about 1%. The price of food was 1%, you know, dying out and things like that. It might not be much for people that's, you know, wealthy, six-figure earners, big time, um, careers and things like that six and seven figure earners the millionaires the billionaires but for regular people and working class people that's that's a hit on the pockets especially you gotta um eat lunch and things like that and if you're at work or if you're on the go if you're on the move but within that food inflation now check this out eggs was up eggs was up 59.9 percent for december 59.9 percent now that's some crazy numbers right there and they're saying some things is because um i believe that it's something going on with the chicken flu or chicken flu virus or something like that i'll do some more research don't try to you know quote me on that and have me be the source of that but i'm gonna have to look into that information also so right now let's get into the computer and look some more at this data and some of these numbers and try to make sense of it all right hold on Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we inside the web and right now we on the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics website and we're going to check out the economic news release of the Consumer Price Index Summary. That's right. This is where the numbers that be crazy, make the market go crazy, make the feds increase or decrease interest rates. And most likely with the last minutes from the Federal Reserve, they said they will continue to increase interest rates. The Federal Reserve interest rate will continue to increase because they want to have it about 4.5% to about 5%. So let's go into the Consumer Price Index, December 2022. The Consumer Price Index for all urban consumer declined 0.1% in December on a seasonal adjusted basis after increasing 0.1% in November. The U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics reported over the last 12 months, the all items index increased 6.5 percent before seasonal adjustment the index for gasoline was by far the largest contributor to the monthly all item decrease more than all sudden increases in shelter indexes the food index increased 0.3 percent over the month with the food at home index rising 0.2 percent the energy index decreased 4.5 percent over the month as gasoline index declined. Other major energy component index increased over the last month. So we gotta think about it. Gasoline declined, but other energy components, coal, oil, things like that has increased over the last month. So the reason I think like some, so natural gas would be probably part of that, natural gas, coal, um, oil, different, um, different components of energy other than gasoline would see an increase because it's winter time, you know, places have to be heated. Then also, you know, we have a large amount of production that's going on in terms of going into the green economy, you know, in order to do that, you're going to have to use energy from some other source in order to go into that green economy. And at the same time, the green economy will not take well, that, that policy right there is not going to fly 
real good because you're still gonna have to use the other energy. And we can see gas line decreases because people aren't traveling as much as they're used to because they can see that, you know, a recession is right around the corner. The index for all items, less food and energy, rose 0.3% in December after rising 0.2% in November. Index which increased in November includes shelter, household furnishing, and operation motor vehicle insurance, recreation, and apparel indexes. So those indexes increased in the month of December. Regular stuff that we usually pay for, you know, you have to pay for motor vehicle insurance, and we're definitely going to do recreation. You don't want to be bored and things like that as well as um, the indexes for used cars and trucks and airlines fares are among those that decrease over the month. So not a lot of people are purchasing used cars and trucks and also not traveling as much as they were the months before. The all item index increased 6.5% for the 12 months end of December. This was the smallest 12 month increase since the period ended October, 2021. Wow. The all-item less food and energy index rose 5.7% over the past 12 months. The energy index increased 7.3% for the 12 months ending in December. The food index increased 10.4% over the last year. So that means over the last year, food index, food increased 1% basically each month, about 1% each month. All of these increases were smaller then for the 12 months period ending in November. So year to year up to um, November, it's smaller. But say if you go back to November and you do a year to year from that November to year November of 2021, you will see a different increase in some of the breakdown as you can see is right here. We got the all items. You have the June 2022 all the way up to December 22. Then you have the year to year index right there for food and remember that a lot of the CPI data is excluding food and energy costs. But you can see the breakdown right here because for all items is 6.5%, but for food is 10.4%, food at home 11.8%. For the month of, let's see, energy for the month of December went down negative 4.5%. But let's see, gasoline negative 9.4%. Fuel oil, wow, that's good, negative 16. Electricity is up 1%. Um, new vehicles is down. Let's see, that's for the month of December. Transportation service is up a little bit. Shelter is up. Service and shelter is up. That's what I'm making a big that's what really is driving the number right now. Shelter, service, electricity, and food. Other than that, the Federal Reserve might like how the data went down. But with that said, they're still going to be probably doing a 0.25 basis point increase, 0.25% increase at the next Fed meeting that's coming up. So let's see a little bit more breakdown. The food index increased 0.3% in December following a 0.5% increase in November. So it didn't go up as much as it did in November, but it did still go up. The food at home index rose 0.2% in December. Three of the six major grocery store food groups index increased over the month. The index for meats, poultry, fish, eggs, oh my God, increased one percent percent in December as the index for eggs rose 11.1 percent alone the index for other food at home rose 0.4 percent over the month while the index for non-alcoholic beverage increased 0.1 percent of December so we can see that eggs went up a lot over in the month of December alone went up 11.1 percent so if you was paying um three dollars for a dozen of eggs is going up now to what probably like 350 but as we can see it's even more than that because eggs was increasing from the months before so eggs i think was like man i seen the price of eggs the other day it was like wow we gotta get some chickens but 
With that said, the contrast, the fruits and vegetable index fell 0.6%. So definitely grab your fruits and vegetables over the month with the fresh fruits index declining 1.9%. The index for dairy and related produce decreased 0.3%. In December and the index for cereals and bakery products was unchanged but cereal and bakery products even though it's unchanged it was up from the months ago because you used to see it like a muffin was like two dollars now it's like three dollars for a muffin the food away from home index rose 0.4 percent in December after increasing 0.5 percent in November people still doing takeout and eating out at other restaurants and things the index for limited service meals increased 0.5% over the month and the index for full service meal increased one increased 0.1%. The food at home index rose 11.8%. Wow, over the past 12 months, you can see that by eggs and cheese and dairy, you see those numbers went up. So definitely, we can definitely see an increase in the food index, the index for cereal bakery products. The index for food away from home rose 8.3% over the last year. The index for full service meals rose 8.2% over the last 12 months. And the index for limited service meals rose 6.6% over the past, over the same period. And you can see also, you have a breakdown for the energy index. It fell 4.5% after falling 1.6% in November. The gasoline index declined. 9.4% over the month, following a 2.0% decrease in November. So that's the gasoline and the energy index right there. And all items, less food and energy. The energy, the index for all items, less food and energy rose 0.3% in December, following a 0.2% increase in November. The shelter index continued to increase, rising 0.8% over the month. The rent index rose 0.8% over the month, and the owner's equivalent rent index also rose 0.8%. The index for lodging away from home increased 1.4% in December after falling 0.7% in November. The shelter index was a dominating factor in the monthly increase in the index for all items, less food and energy. See, that's what we were talking about earlier. The rent and... um. Shelter is the reason why it was up so high, while other components were a mixed increase of decline. Among other indexes that rose in December was the index for household furniture and operation, which increased 0.3% over the month, while the index for motor vehicle insurance rose 0.6%, and the index for recreation increased 0.2%. The apparel index rose 0.5% in December, and the education index increased 0.3%. So ladies and gentlemen, you can check out the Bureau of Labor and Statistics.gov for some more information and the other breakdowns. Hope you got some information. Hope you got some value out of this. And look out for the Federal Reserve because they will be making some moves on this. And check out their recent meetings and look out for their upcoming meeting coming soon. Hope you got some value out of this. Once again, it's Andy D. Please like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.